everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay and this is Life with Lindsay. Today we have an unboxing. This one comes to us from Diamond Art Dreams, which is a Sherry Baldy owned and operated company. Um, I have other unboxings from her as well. I will link one of them up in the eye. Um, I am filming this whole thing sideways and you'll see why in a moment here. So if like my hands seem not the right direction, that's why. Um, if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay and I do mainly diamond painting content and some other crafting related stuff. Stuff, and I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit that bell, hop aboard the Hot Mess Express, let's all be friends. If you've been here before, hi, welcome. Um, this has actually been sitting downstairs by my front door for quite some time. Alright, I am... There is so much tape on this, you guys. I'm trying to do this and not um, hurt myself. So, how are you guys doing? I hope that you are all well. Um, okay. Let's try not to... Okay, Lindsay. Just destroyed that box. Oh, my God. All right. I might have to... You guys, there's so much tape on this, I can't even begin to tell you what's happening here. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. We've done it. I... <laughs> as soon as sitting right next to me, and he's just laughing at me. Say hi. Hi. Anyway, so <laughs> you guys, this is like I, I'm doing this off camera because I am like struggling like crazy over here. All right, let's see what we got here. This says thank you for your order, um, and here is a certificate of authenticity. Very very cute. Um, holy shnikes, this is heavy. Let's see. <laughs> Just pulling everything out of the box. Woo! Okay, where are we at? So we have um, a business card from Sherry Baldi. That is her artwork. And everything will be linked down below. So no worries there. Um, I pre-ordered this. If you've been around and you've purchased from Sherry before or... You've seen other people unbox. She has now changed her, um, or it ships directly from the factory, if I am not mistaken. I, I don't know if that's everything or from, like, new ones coming out. I imagine any stock she has on hand, she's still shipping out. But that is important to note. Um, I purchased this. One thing I will say, before I get super into this, um... Something that I find a little bit frustrating about this company is that the names of the listing will change uh, as she updates them. So sometimes it'll tell you planning on shipping in March. Well, I'm just picking something arbitrary here. And then you go to look at it and now all of a sudden it says only four remaining and it doesn't tell you when the ship date is anymore. <laughs> so things like that get changed. Um, the listings just get updated. I imagine it's one of those things it's easier to change the listing than to just create new listings or to edit it in the description instead. Um, but this one, when I purchased it, the actual title for it said, Special Exclusive Pre-Order, Only a Few Will Be in Stock, Large, Alice in Wonderland, Tea Time, Diamond Art Painting. Um, the shipping on this, and you guys, if you've been around for any length of time, you know that small shop shipping is a, a hill that I am willing to die on. Um, but I will say it's not the cost of the shipping that got me on this. It was the creating the label and then not shipping it for weeks afterwards. So I will put all of that out there. If you guys did not know whether I am an affiliate for a company or not, I'm not affiliated with them. Um, I will always be honest with you guys. If you watch my unboxings, you watch my post reviews, I want you guys to be able to make the most informed decision possible based off of the product that I am showing. Not just me. I'm sure other people feel this way too because I don't want to lead you guys astray and go, oh my God, you guys have to buy this company. It's so amazing. And then you get it and you're like, this isn't amazing. I just wasted all this money. And I am here to just remind you if you've been here for a while or to tell you if you are new here that I will be completely honest on my thoughts and opinions on everything. So um, I will say here's your little, oh, we're going this way. Diamond painting instructions. Okay. Um, I'm not sure why this is so small. Um, 
I don't have anything to, like, okay, here's a diamond painting pen that comes with a toolkit. To put that into perspective, that's my legend, and it's the same size. So I'm probably going to email her and see if I can get, like, a normal size one. Um, yeah, you can print this out and put this through a Xyron sticker maker and make your own. I'm looking at the symbols here to see if there are any that are confusing. Uh, one of my biggest pet peeves of all time with diamond painting is the numbers. Like, the symbol is a number, and they don't align with the numbers here. So, like, symbol number six is number nine. Um, that's a personal preference. And if you see here, this is, as I mentioned, Alice in Wonderland Tea Time Diamond Art Dreams. It's a very long title. Um, it has the Diamond Art Dreams DAD-124, so I imagine that'll be on the canvas and the drills as well. We'll check that in a minute here. It is 150 centimeters by 50 centimeters. And here is the image. Now, this is why I'm assuming the diamond painting sheet here is not very big because if you made this it would have to be pretty big to that makes no sense Lindsay just hey I will say the attention to detail like this is wrapped in really nice tissue paper um ho oh, holy moly I have never in my life had a diamond painting where the drills were rubber banded to the canvas. Um, I'm hoping this did not make any dents because um, nobody wants that. Oh, God. Nobody wants to be shot with a rubber band either, so I'm trying to be... Oh, God. Okay, you guys, if I make it through this day unscathed... Um, I'll be happy. So here is your toolkit inside the drills. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, there are what look like creases in the plastic. And I'm hoping it's just creases and nothing else. So, uh, this is like, not shrink wrapped. Is that what it's called? And they put the plastic on and then they like heat seal it. Yeah, shrink wrapped. Okay, so let's get this off. Oh, there's rubber bands. Okay, so I can tell you right now I'm not super thrilled. That's a personal preference, you guys. Let's see if it affects the canvas at all, but you can see the dents that are in there. Um, I'm going to pause you guys so that I can get this plastic off, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. So that uh, DAD-124, as I mentioned, this is on a sticker on the back of the canvas. I'm going to regret taking this off because it's going to make it sticky. <sighs> okay. So I'm trying to figure out... You guys can just stare at those while I... There is a foam roller on the inside. This is very, very tightly wound. As I mentioned, this is a very large canvas. This is a 50 by 150. It's only... Oh, good. Is this in pieces? <sighs> I am having a hell of a time over here, you guys. So, I'm going to attempt to roll this. So, I saw this... I will put up on the screen the dates that I purchased this and the date that it shipped or I received it, whatever it may be. Um, I am rolling this off camera so that I can have it lay a little flatter for you guys. Um, a canvas like this for me and my workstation will have to be worked on 100% sideways. Um, so hopefully there's no confusing greater than, less than up, down, arrow, um, but let's see if you guys can see the symbol quality on this looks nice so far. Again, there is your, uh, DAD 124. It is a 150 by 50 centimeter. The legend looks nice and clear on here. This includes one, two, three, four, five ABs, 45 colors. So, this is going to be huge, and I'm going to have to roll it um, across the table here so you guys can see it. Um, if editing Lindsay had, like, some really cool, like, montage sped up things. Let me see. I'm going to have to turn this off for a second. Nope, that doesn't make a difference. Ooh. All right, so here we have our Queen of Hearts. Um, we've got a rose over here. I can tell you already that even though this is a very large size, a lot of this detail is already lost. Um, let's see. So we've got our white rabbit. 
Come on. And you can see his <coughs> clock down here. Don't mind all of the stuff in the background here. This is a very long canvas, so I'm doing this completely sideways. Here is Alice. There is her face. Um, I know that for a canvas that is, this image is as large as it is, that it has to be big to have the details, but unfortunately it looks like a lot of these details came out pretty murky, which is a little bit disappointing, but we will still work on this. Here's your Cheshire cat face. It looks like a random balloon in the background. Um, there is your teapot. This is very reminiscent of Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast. Anybody? Um, oh. So there are two white rabbits one is the white rabbit one's the march hare um and then you've got some flowers down here and a flower off to the side uh is there i don't think there's a mad hatter on this i would say let me look at the image but the image itself again is super super little so and i don't know come on focus i don't know if i have a large image of it if i do i'll throw it up on the screen but um, the very top corner here, it has the website information and the Facebook and the hashtag. Again, it has the legend. Um, is that on both sides? I think that was on both sides. Um, sorry. Yes, on both sides. Um, it has the name of the canvas up in the top corner. And on the bottom, it says where diamond art dreams come true. And then it has her branded symbol down at the bottom um i can tell you guys this i think is close to my height i'm holding it up and you guys can't see it and um it's like above my nose yeah, it's about two or three inches. so i'm gonna just roll some of this i know you guys are just <laughs> staring at nothing right now i'm gonna roll some of this so that you guys can see just a small portion while we are in camera together Um, this is the length of my table right here, and, um, this is hanging off. Oop. I should probably pull myself back out of camera. Um, anyway, so let's check the sticky. Again, I'm working sideways, so it's very, it is nice and sticky, so that's good. Um, I am not going to be able to measure this. I can measure the height of it and see if that is true to size. Um, yep, 50 on the nose. Um. Let's see. The symbol quality, as I showed you guys, looked really nice. So this is interesting. This legend is upside down, and the one over on the side was right side up. I imagine <laughs> that this was for um, assuming that you're going to work on it in the direction it was printed and then just flipping it upside down. However, because this is not very high and it is long, um, it just makes it more difficult. Um I wish that I could find some of the ABs for you guys, um, which, let's see, uh, 5J7, okay, I could tell you right now there's some in the sun, um, there's some in her eyeballs, um, there's some ABs in the flower. Okay, so they're going to be pretty much scattered everywhere. This looks nice because even though it's really big and some of the details lost, you'll have little things like this where there's a beautiful little butterfly. The symbol clarity on this is really nice. I will say um, I'm impressed by that. It doesn't look like they've chosen symbols that will uh, counteract with each other. Sorry, I'm really struggling to fit this in camera, you guys. Um, there is his face. Again, I see a bunch of fives, which are the gray symbol in between his eyes and um, some of the pink down here. Um, and then the green E. I'm wondering if this was supposed to be like the Mad Hatter version of the rabbit. And because usually the March Hare and the White Rabbit are different colors. But here you can see Alice and her cup of tea. There's some, I assume that's a pastry or a teacup down below. There's a playing card right here. It is really hard to show you guys all these details, but I hope that I'm doing some justice to this. I have done a couple canvases from Sherry Baldy. I have done the Wizard of Oz one, um, which I'll link the unboxing for that one up here. That is Sherry's own artwork. And then I did the, I think it's called Nightmare for Alice. 
Um, I will link the post review for that one here. Um, that was not her. She also does license other artists to her brand. Um, this one here does not have any artist information, so I'm not sure who the artist is. If I find that out, I will put that in the description box. But I did want to show you guys um, these symbols as best that I can. Um, I know I keep saying um, and it seems real clunky, but there's another yellow butterfly down here. I'm just struggling to make do with the space that I have for a canvas this size. As I mentioned, this would have to be 100% worked sideways in my space here. And then there is another flower here that has some of these like white sections here are going to be an AB. Um, I think this is going to be beautiful. I have no complaints about the symbol quality. They look absolutely fantastic. Um, my biggest complaint was this. This makes it hard if you're going to make stickers. They're very, very tiny or to just see them because while it's great that they do have the legend on both sides, when something is 150 centimeters wide, by the time you can see the other one, there's you haven't been able to see a legend in a long time. I would love for this to stay unrolled, but we all know um, that's not how that works. So this is my, my bootleg version of just putting that there. Um, I'm not going to pull out all the colors here. This is a round drill canvas. You can see everything is pre-bagged. It has the number not the symbol or DMC on the bag. Um, so if you wanted to work out of baggies, you absolutely could. Look at that gorgeous AB right there. Um, let me grab, if I can find where this is open. Something opened up in here because I see some loose drills. Here is a very basic toolkit. It has a pen, a uh, plastic tweezers, pad of wax, a large placer, a squishy, and a boat. Um, woo hoo hoo grab one two three four five okay sorry you guys let's see so we've got our yellow ab which is uh 307 ab if you don't know what an ab is that is an aurora borealis it is a regular drill that has an extra shiny coating on it and you can see this one has uh it helps it almost a little bit of like green to it and some white to it. It reflects all of the colors around it. It makes them all brighter, often used for a nice little pop of color and an accent. The next one we have here is number 42, which is DMC 444. This is a darker shade of yellow. You can see them together. Then we've got our pinks. We have 43, which is a 602 and 44, which is 819, this is the one I thought was white on the canvas. So you can see those two different shades there. And last but not least, we have 50, nope, 30, oh my gosh, 3818 AB. Sorry, it is hard to read. This is beautiful. This I can only describe as like peacock. It's green and has like a blue flip to it. Very peacock or mermaid-esque. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm not going to pull out all the other drills because it'll take too long to get them back in, but um, they are there. And as I mentioned, the this is not labeled. Okay, so I would not recommend storing these separately or labeling this as such because the bags are... Actually, let me see that again. Are the bags labeled with the... No. It doesn't have the DAD 124. So um, if you are somebody who likes to store your drills separately, I would highly, highly recommend that you label this very, very well. Um, for me, I will keep them all together. Again, I will email to see if I can get a larger copy of this just for my own purposes. Um, and that's it. That's all I got for you guys for this one. I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, if you'd like to see videos, more videos like this, or, you know, nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come, join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. Yay. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time, and I record when my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>